intelligence of God, the ways of God, just look at your blind track record. Mm. See how much damage did you cause? Promoting falsehood and bringing people to your old false church, getting them baptized wrong. Bringing a bunch of folk to some church talking about you going to help convert them to Christ. And you didn't have a clue who Christ was. You was like Williams. I'm just using him as an example. That is true though, Pastor. It is true. Innocent, but guilty. Because your objective was to lead people to Christ, but really you led them to Satan. You led them to a form of godliness. Because we were ignorant of the power thereof. So when God opens up your understanding, you can do better. That's in any area of life. If you get hired at a company to do any type of work, if you don't understand the instructions, a wise person would ask. Yeah. Amen. Not jump on the machine and end up causing an explosion. Right. Ask. It's like a lot of the men in the pulpit should ask. That's right. <laughs> Where can I sit down? <laughs> no. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Acts, how did I get up here? That's right. So blindness is a form of handicap, but the scriptures, I bear witness, will open your eyes. And brother, when the scripture open your eyes, you will be surprised at a lot of things you see. Especially within yourself. You will see things in yourself you didn't have a clue it exists. Not only would you see it, you may find out that it had been there a long time and you didn't even know it. Give me the fourth chapter of 2 Corinthians and begin at verse 1 before going any further. I want to say happy birthday to my mother for her 91st yeah. birthday today. Oh, yes. Wonderful. 91 years old today. You know, I thank God for our senior brothers and sisters. When they hit them 70s and 80s and 90s and 100 and more, I often think about what they have seen through the years, how they seen the world evolve. And I know for certain things they see now, they wouldn't even dream of seeing a day like the day come to pass, especially out of young people in the street. When I was coming up, you can help a old person cross the street without them getting too nervous. If a young person even go to help a person, elderly cross the street, they cringed, thinking they're going to get robbed. When I was coming up, I don't care how full the subway or the bus was, when we saw the elderly, we that had home training. That's right. I have to put it that way because there was slobs and bums when I was coming up. But the way I was raised, when you just see the elderly coming on, you get out the chair, help that old man, that old woman with their bags, respond to them, yes sir, yes ma'am. Everything has shifted. Because blindness have set in. Blindness to God, blindness to law, blindness to conduct. They want to lean after their own way. And when you tell them something that's intelligent, 
that makes sense. I have to make it so plain. Tell them something that's intelligent. Tell them something that makes sense. You'd be surprised what a great fight you would have. Tell them something foolish. They'll shake your hand, hug you, and smile. Everything now is in reverse. All right. Pretty tired this morning. Didn't get to sleep till after 3 o'clock this morning. Let us update you with the uh, baptisms that we have. 13, this is a two weeks report I see here. 13 in headquarters, 5 in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Five, 3 in Pine Bush, New York. 2 in Bronx, New York. Uh, three more in upstate New York, two in Hartford, Connecticut, one in Del Mar, Delaware, two in Baltimore, one in Oxford, North Carolina, one in Rocky Mount, four in Raleigh, North Carolina, three in Florence, eight in Atlanta, one in Mobile, two in Orlando, Florida, five in Memphis, seven in Houston, 28 in Dallas, one in Detroit, one in Sacramento, one in Los Angeles, Five in Kerman, Kerman, uh, California. Two in Las Vegas. Twelve in Cleveland. One in Minnesota International. Nine in Canada. Seven in Johannesburg. Eighty-seven in Mozambique. Two hundred and seventeen souls. Wonderful. You know Africa is exploding all across the continent from the truth of God message. Many, 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 many hundreds that have turned into thousands going down in water in the name of the Lord Jesus. God truly has been making provisions for the church. And we all can bear witness how God is blessing the church more and more Amen. tremendously. Amen. Now to all the brothers and sisters in Johannesburg, God willing, uh -huh. we'll be getting the contractors started soon. Getting the new temple in Johannesburg repainted and carpet laid and central air conditioner system put in. Those are the three things, and also a baptismal bull. Nice. Those are the four things that have to be done. Once that's done, we'll set a dedication date for Johannesburg, South Africa. Fly there, cripple the devil, have a good time glorifying God, and fly back to America. Amen. To all the brothers and sisters in the state of Wisconsin, God willing, we ought to have the contractors started soon in the main auditorium. Nothing much have to be done there. Repaint, new carpet, dedicate, nice. preach, keep you out of hell. Wonderful. I wish all churches was that quick. <laughs> Detroit, God willing, we hope Detroit will be finishing up hopefully this year. Lumberton, North Carolina Temple, God willing, that's still in the works. Uh, the completion of the main auditorium, that's still in the works. And so many other locations around the world, that's... Praise the Lord again. I'll wake up after a while. All of that is still in the works. We have a European tour coming up. Well, we will be in about six or seven or eight different countries, God willing, in about a three and a half week period. And then we'll get back here and get some rest, God willing. Uh, to the brother Gary in Jamaica, Elder Robinson, I need you to reach me and give me the dates for the Jamaican West Indies Holy, Holy Convocation. I need date and location immediately. 
because we need to get it over the air now. Also, Bishop Ferguson in the Bahamas. We need dates, location, time of the Bahamas Holy, Holy Convocation because we need time for it to be over the air. We won't be for long fall to be here. That's true. And then winter. And then back in Greensboro for the Holy Convocation of the closing year. Now to all the viewers, it's best you start making your plans now. Don't wait. The end of the year, you know the devil have big celebrations now. Heathen's Day, what you call Christmas. Yeah. It's Heathen's Day. That's true. I wouldn't say you talking about that too early. Summer's still here. The Bible says be instant in season nice. and out of season. If I can shoot the Christmas devil in you now, you'll be delivered from him before the snowfall. <laughs> Amen. Then I won't see you dragging some tree larger than your car down the street. I used to see men and women dragging large creed trees that don't even have a car. Getting it on the bus and the doors of the bus closing and half of the tree is hanging out. Or you can do like Williams used to do. He had what I call a Charlie Brown Christmas. That's right. Charlie Brown <laughs> Christmas Remember that, Williams? Christmas. Amen. That tree was probably uh, maybe about as tall as that plant there or a little <laughs> bit taller. Amen. I used to go to his house and tease him yes, you. vigorously. <laughs> That's right. Amen. It was, I didn't celebrate Christmas with trees and all that, but <clears throat> my mother, she used to buy us gifts until my father kept pounding on it, then she stopped. But when I would go to Williams' house, oh, man, that tree was only a little bit taller than that plant there. <laughs> and they, <laughs> they burdened the tree. <laughs> I mean, they burdened it. Imagine something a little bit taller than that with decorations the size of basketballs on. <laughs> Truly, they burdened the tree. The tree was leaning and all drooped. The tree was grim. It was, every a, year, very, it was a very depressed tree every, every year. year. Every year. Every year, wasn't it, Will? <laughs> yes, it was. I would ask him, I would be like, Soup, why would y'all put so many groceries and punish that tree like that? <laughs> right. Hey, man, they would put a star in the, and, 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 and with an angel, and it was heavy. Oh, yeah. And the, the ornament, I, and that top ornament looked to be heavier than the tree itself. And when they put it on, the tree started leaning way back. <laughs> every year. Every year. Every year, they would punish that old hypocrite tree. <laughs> but when your eyes come open, you're blessed now. Oh, yes. I have to celebrate that heathenism. That's right. All right, 2 Corinthians, chapter, Second Corinthians four. chapter 4. Begin at verse 1, uh, William. Let's go to work there. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, we're at verse 1. All right. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry. Here you had Brother Paul, born in Tarsus. I just want to give you some background about this Hebrew apostle. Mm -hmm. Born in Tarsus in the city of Cilicia. I am verily a man which am a Jew. Listen at this. In Acts chapter 22 and at verse 3. I'm a Jewish man. Born in Tarsus. Born in Tarsus. A city, city in, Cilicia, in Cilicia. Yet brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel. Yes. And taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers. Now, in other words, the law that he was taught was the law that God gave Moses. Yeah. Paul came out of the first tribe that gave Israel a king tribe of Benjamin, uh -huh. which made him a Benjamite. Right. One day, God stopped this man on his journey. That's right. It was one of the greatest days of his life. That's right. A light shined from heaven above the brightness of the sun, 
And God spoke to him That's right. direct. That's right. Can you imagine what that feel like and sound like? Mm. Heaven. Yeah. Heaven. Heaven. That's right. Heaven's creator. Uh -huh. Voice ring from on high. And it came to pass. And call you by name. That's yeah. right. Mm. Yeah. Imagine you driving or walking and talking. Or, hmm. And your name blasts. From eternity. That's yeah. right. Because when God talked, that's eternity talking. That's right. Saul, Saul. Why persecute And then ask you, why persecute Why are you bothering me? me? Now, God not only calling you by name, He's making it personal. That's right. Can you imagine God call you by name, viewer? I ask you, why are you smoking? Mm. Why are you partying? Right while you're on your way to Club 77. That's right. Right while you're at the light. Mm. Williams, Williams! Yeah. <laughs> why are you going to Club 77? And that voice so loud and wow. make your alarm go off in your car. Mm. Make your engine stall. Flatten all your tires. Lord. Make your hood and your engine just explode. My Lord. Light shine at your car. <laughs> That's right. Brighter than the sun. Brighter. Call you by name. My Lord. You do good if you even say the word club again. That's right. That's right. Let's more go there. That's right. Paul had a great experience, and that's what everybody need to appreciate God. That's right. Glory to God, the world need a great experience. That's right. So they can appreciate God and the purpose of God concerning you. That's right. Yeah. You wouldn't treat them so worthless as so many millions are doing. Amen. All right. Back in 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 1. Listen. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry. We have this ministry. As we have received mercy, we faint not. Not fainting. That's it. Paul was an apostle called and sent by God. Get me now. Meaning not fainting, he was sound in what God gave him. Steadfast. Oh, yes. yeah. Unmovable. When he faced King Agrippa. And told him how God stopped him. And right. Agrippa heard that thing so much until he said, you almost made me become like Christ. Become a Christian. Almost persuaded me to be a Christian. That's right. Pastor Paul was firm. I don't care where he went. That's right. He didn't compromise, didn't bargain, and at no time did he try to bring people what they like. That's right. The apostle wasn't like the men of the day. That's right. People pleasers. No, no. Jesus died and came on back, opened up the understanding of the apostles and sent them out. But Paul wasn't here when God was here in the flesh, son of man, Christ Jesus. That's right. But that didn't hinder Paul's knowledge. No. The 12 got the information while he was here in the flesh, Paul got it while he was in the spirit. That's right. Yeah. And in the spirit, he revealed his son to Paul. That's right. That he may preach him among the heathen. That's right. Paul was updated, was not lacking in no information. Even though Peter, James, John, Bartholomew, Matthew, and the others had it before him, God updated him on everything. On everything. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Until he said, I believe I wasn't lacking or came behind in no gift. No gift. Amen. He had all the information that they had yeah. Yeah. and got it direct from heaven from the Spirit. That's right. He said, I got it. Glory to God by revelation. By revelation. He said, I wasn't taught it of man, but 
It was made known to me but by I, revelation. Listen at this. In Galatians chapter 1 and verse 11. What is it? But I certify you, brother. I certify. I stand behind what I have, brethren. That the gospel which was preached the to message me. message that is preached to me. Is not after man. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Ain't after no man. No man give me this. That's right. What? For I neither received it of man. No man gave it to me. Neither was I neither taught it. Neither was I taught it. But by the revelation of Jesus Christ. Who revealed it? By the revelation of Jesus Christ. Jesus gave it to him. Hallelujah. Jesus, here, Jesus gave it to the twelve in the flesh. That's right. Jesus gave it to Paul in the spirit. That's right. That's right. In other words, when he was walking here on the earth, all the information was put to the apostles through the flesh. Mm -hmm. But the flesh didn't even give it to the apostles. That's right. Here, here now, I want you to get this. He was in the flesh. But the flesh didn't reveal it to the apostles when he was here. That's right. You better give me Matthew. Matthew chapter 16. Follow me good now. Come on, Williams. At verse 16. What is it? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, Thou the, art son the, of the Christ, living God. the Son of the Living God. And Jesus answered and said unto Jesus him, Jesus said to him, Blessed art thou, Blessed Simon Barjona. Thou, Simon Barjona, for why? Flesh and, for flesh and blood. Because my body hath not revealed it unto thee. Amen. My body, my earthly house, my body, my temple hath profit of nothing. That's right. Come on. I didn't give you this. <laughs> I right. couldn't give you this. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Why, Jesus? Because I had to receive it myself. That's right. That's right. That's right. Who gave it to you, Jesus? My Father. That's Who is right. that? The Spirit that dwelleth in me. That's right. Glory to God. He doeth the work. As my Father had taught me. You hear what Jesus said? Glory to God. Listen at this now. St. John chapter 8 and at verse 28. Begin at verse 27. At verse 27. Uh -huh. They understood not that he spake to them of they the Father. understood not that he spake to them of the Father. They didn't understand it then. They don't understand it now. Then said Jesus unto them. When I make reference to the Father, I'm talking about the nature of God. That's right. Father, yeah. immortal, celestial, eternal, spirit. Heavenly Father, that's right. God, the divine nature of Jesus. That, that's right. Yeah? That's right. When I talk about son, I'm talking about man, begotten, married baby, seed of David, offspring of David, lamb in whom the lion was in. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Hallelujah. Take. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. That's right. I'm starting to wake up now. Glory to God. Come on, Williams. They understood not. They understood not that he spake to them of spake the Father. That he spake to them of another nature. That's right. The nature of the Father is spirit, and the nature of the Son is flesh, and the Spirit wanted us to come to him, but the Spirit couldn't die, Hallelujah. so the divine nature took on a natural nature, offered the natural nature up, the divine stepped out the natural and left it on the cross, and the divine went down to the grave and preached and got back in the natural and glorified it. That's right. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You say what I'm talking. Hallelujah. Head on back to Sunday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They said all power. That's right. Hallelujah. Do it to God. All power. That's right. It's given unto me, blessed be God, in heaven and in earth. That's right. One God. Hallelujah. But when he came in the flesh, it was two natures. That's it. It's just like. There's one God, but he came in my flesh, Holy Ghost. That's right. Two natures Two here. Natures. Oh, yeah. The nature that's in me is spirit, but the body is natural, it's flesh. flesh. That's the way it was when Jesus was here. That's right. That's the way it is with the church. The church is flesh and blood. That's right. But the spirit that's in the church is divine. That's it. Come on, William. They understood not that he spake to they them of the Father. They didn't understand that he was talking about the spirit. Then said Jesus unto them. Then said Jesus unto them. When you shall have lifted up the Son of Man. When you lift up 
the son of man. Then shall, then ye, know shall ye know that I am that he. I am he. Yeah. And that I do nothing of myself. And you can't credit me for anything that was done yeah, I didn't do it on my own. Yeah. But as my father hath taught me. What? As my father hath taught me. As my father. Mm. The spirit gave him the information. That's right. I remember when I preached this, that you can't credit Jesus for anything on his own. A false prophet got over, got over there and said, oh no. Oh no. Then uh, Jesus died on his own. That's a lie. That's a lie. Jesus didn't die on his own. No. I do nothing of yeah. myself. What you mean he didn't die on his own? He was offered. That's right. That's right. You better read that. He That's offered right. that body once. That's right. And then I hear the Bible say he offered that body once. That's right. And then it told us how he done it. That's right. Through the eternal spirit. That's right. He offered that Hebrews. body. Listen at this real quick, William. Hebrews 9 and verse 14. Come on now. How much more? How much more? Shall the blood of Christ. Shall the blood of Christ. Who through. Who through. The eternal spirit. Wait a minute. Who through what? Who through the eternal spirit. How much more? How the blood much of Christ who, who through, through the eternal spirit offered himself. He offered himself, but how did he do it? Through the eternal spirit. That's right. That's right. That's right. You see, the body was a lamb. That's right. Hallelujah. And you had to offer that lamb that it may bring us to the spirit of the living God. So Christ was once offered. Wait a minute. Christ. Christ was once offered. It ain't offered. talking about the spirit. No. They're talking about the flesh of Christ. That's right. It was once offered. So Christ was once offered. He was once offered. To bear the sins of men. To bear the sins of men. And unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time. Yeah. Without sin unto salvation. And. And Hebrews chapter 10 and at verse 10. All right. By the which will we are sanctified. We are set apart. Through the offering. Through the offering. Of the body of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So. Hallelujah. Right then. See that don't mean God died. No. He offered the body and body. the body died. That's it. God stayed alive. <laughs> That's right. When he pierced the body, you ain't pierced God. No. Because God is the spirit and you can't pierce the spirit. That's right. Amen. You just pierced the body that God was in. That's it. Amen. God didn't believe the body bled. That's right. And if the body was the sacrifice, the body was the lamb. That's it. And that's why we all here now because that body was offered once. Once. Once for all. That's once. That's it. You see, the, a lot of folk don't know why the Bible mentioned once for all. Once for all. You see, in the old time, the priests had to go into the temple once every year. Once every year. With the unspotted lamb or sacrifice and then offer it. But it had to be once every year. Once every, every year. Every year, they had to do it. That's right. Jesus come and had to do that stuff yearly. <laughs> no, no, no. He knocked it out one with one shot. One shot. And got it done. That's right. All right, go back to where you were. Come on, Williams. Back in St. Matthew chapter 16 and verse 16. Yeah. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ. Thou art the Christ, the, the son, son of, of the, the living, living God. God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What did Jesus say? Blessed art thou, Simon Bar Jonah. Blessed art thou, Simon Bar Jonah. For flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee. Flesh and blood didn't reveal it to you, but what? But my but Father, the Spirit, which is in heaven. Which is in heaven. That's it. Amen. So therefore, to take the spirit to give it then and take the spirit of the living God to give it now. Therefore, seeing. All right, get this. Back in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry. As we have received mercy. We, we have received not. mercy. We don't faint. It's a beautiful thing not to faint in God. Oh, yes. Give up. That's surrender. That's knock off. That's right. And that's what many folks do. They come in this happy, overzealous, over anxious, here to broadcast Get baptized, some repent, get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost just for a while. But they run so fast, they don't wait to be taught so they can be armed right. That's it. You know, teaching will arm you. That's teaching right. teaches you how to endure, yeah. how to stand, how to be patient, because it takes all those things for you to stay with God. That's right. You just don't get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You didn't come to church shouting every service. Just shout, 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 jump, 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 and don't hear no teaching. Amen. 
Huh? Amen. You got to get some root in you. Oh, yeah. Amen. You take a plant and put that seed down there. The seed have to be quickened when it dies. That's right. And then slowly but surely, roots start to go down in the earth. Yeah. And when roots start to go down, then the plant, because it's quickened, you'll see that little tender plant, that yeah. stem come up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it's tender. That's right. It's not settled. That's right. It's just tender. Somebody can walk by and just pull it right up. That's right. And because many of us is not settled, not grounded. Not grounded. Some come in to hang around church just for a while. Yeah. But when you really want to be right with God and on the receiving end of the teaching of the word of God, you will not master overnight the lessons that God brings. No way. It takes years yeah. of evolving That's right. around the word of God. But you have to be striving while you are evolving. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Listen. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, uh -huh. as we have received mercy, we faint not. We don't faint. We don't give up. We don't quit. That's right. Amen. That's it. Not quitting. That's a beautiful thing. Not quitting. Yeah. You look back how long you've been walking with God and you're still continuing. Amen. Still continue in the midst of hardship. That's right. I had many folk, Williams often asked me, after all these years, oh, yeah. he still asked me, how do you do it? <laughs> I told him I don't. God do it. Amen. 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 I don't do it, can't do it, wouldn't do it, wouldn't want to do it either. That's right. It's only by God's grace. I don't tell the people like these dumb preachers, it isn't nothing out there. No. <clears throat> you can't tell me it ain't nothing out there. And the way I travel the world, Amen. it's a whole lot out there. A whole lot. Some of you don't travel the world, but you see enough in your own neighborhood. That's right. Amen. Man, there's enough in your own neighborhood to keep you right out there in the world. That's right. Serving God, you have to sacrifice your love for the world. If if you continue in the faith. Do you hear this? In Colossians chapter 1 and verse 23. If what? Begin at verse 20. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 20. Follow me. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, uh -huh. by him to reconcile all things unto himself. Yeah. By him I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. Uh -huh. And you that was sometime alienated. You. Yeah. That was sometime alienated. Alienated. And enemies in your mind. What kind of mind we had towards God? Enemies in your mind. You enemies. know what you know what an alien is? I'm not talking about a UFO. That's right. You know, when you are illegal citizen, you're considered an alien. Yeah. That's right. And in order for you to be a citizen of that country, you have to get your citizenship. That's right. right. Well, God wants you to be a citizen in the church. That's right. There are requirements for you to have your citizenship. That's right. Amen. You have to hear the word of God, then repent of your yes. sins. Mm -hmm. Be baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ, and then keep around the teaching of God. That's it. You're not a citizen yet. That's right. Even though you repented, you've been baptized in the water in the name of the Lord Jesus, but you're not a citizen yet. That You're still working. Yeah. On your citizenship. That's right. Amen. Someone say, I'm not a citizen. Oh, no, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Amen. You have to have the Holy Ghost yeah. speaking in the tongue of the Spirit of God to give utterance because the Bible says you're baptized by one spirit into one body. That's right. And when you receive the Holy Ghost, which only God can give, yeah. that's what makes you a citizen in God's church. Now, therefore, listen at this. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, and verse 19. Glory to God. Now, therefore, now, therefore, you are no more strangers. You are no longer strangers and foreigners, and foreigners, but fellow citizens, but fellow citizens with the saints. I told you so. That's right. Amen. To be a fellow citizen with the church, That's right. uh, in the church, you got to have the Holy Ghost because you, God put you in the body. That's yeah. right. And when God put you in the body, now you have to learn God rule. That's right. So you don't lose your citizenship. That's right. You know, you can live in a country and lose your citizenship. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. you can. Yes, you can. You can come to church but lose your citizenship. You, right. so, so you got to abide by God rules. That's it. God have rules. Oh, yeah. God have regulations. Oh, yeah. Amen. You don't need to get mad at Pastor Jenny. Listen, I didn't, I didn't write the rules of the Bible. No. But there are rules here. Let us walk by the same rule. Look at all this Bible. In the book of Philippians chapter 3 and verse 16. My job, I'm simply a rule enforcer. That's right. 
That's all. That's it. Hey Amen. These rules hurt. They hurt too, don't they? Oh, yes. Hey Amen. Certainly, I can look at you. You look like they're hurting. <laughs> Amen. And uh, the rules hurt me. Yeah. I want to say you don't act like it. You smile when you preach, Pastor Jim. That's all right. That's all right. When I was out there in the hood, I would smile and laugh when I mixed it up. Oh, yeah. That's all right, but them punches that fella put on me still hurt. Amen. The punches that the Bible put on me, they hurt, brother. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. A lot of folks right. get mad and take it out on me. Why do, why do he say that? Don't get, get me out the picture. Right. Amen. Don't you know, man, I would to God I can just talk to God and get him to change his mind. My Lord. About all kind of things. I guarantee if I ask all, all of you here now. Oh, yes. Just write down the things that you want God to change his mind about. Ha, ha, ha. That's right. Oh, my Lord, many of you would be so tickled. Oh, yeah. So happy you would be writing and talking to yourself. That's right. Hey, Amen. Oh, my Lord, you'd be reaching into your bag of information. That's right. All in your dreams, all in your imagination. And all of it would be a wish list. That's right. Wouldn't it be? That's right. But God ain't going to do that. No. By the time we are done with that wish list, <laughs> won't be nobody fit for heaven. No. That's true. Nobody. Nobody. Because if we can harvest our wants, harvest it, mm. and take it back with us, with God, mm. it'll be worse up there than it is down here. That's right. Why, Pastor Jennings? Because your deeds will be eternal up there. Yeah. That's right. They're temporary down here. That's right. And on the top of the list mm. will be lust. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy to touch that. That'd be on the top of everybody's list. That's, that's listening. <laughs> that's right. Lust. Lust. Lord, let me be saved as long as I can keep doing this. Keep doing the other, then that way they ain't got to abstain and struggle and be somewhere laying around crying and <laughs> shaking and quivering, <laughs> having withdrawal symptoms. I mean, they won't have to go through none of that. That's right. Just, just if the Lord would just say, All right, go ahead. Mm -hmm. But God said, <laughs> God said, No. No. Sometimes when I preach against certain things and go to the Bible, you should see some people. My God, they fold their arms and smack them mouth and get <sighs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Amen. And then some just look at me and just say. Yep. You're right. Some about my read their mouth, they be saying, Lord have mercy. <laughs> some be saying, help them, Lord. <laughs> I didn't write it. That's right. Ask God to help you. Amen. Ask God to have mercy on you. That's right. Thank God, my job, I'm just your mailman, your friendly neighborhood mailman. My William's got so many letters that he's holding there. That's right. Just opening one envelope is enough. That's right. Come on, son. Back in Colossians chapter 1 and verse 21. What is it? And you that was sometime alienated. Alienated. And enemies in your mind. Have you ever was an enemy in your mind towards God? Show sure we were. Oh, yes. yes. We all living now by God's mercy. That's it. Uh -huh. And you that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works. By what? By wicked works. By being a fool. That's right. Yeah. That's and right. as many of us here love to go to the club. Couldn't wait till the weekend. Couldn't wait till Friday to get here. We was already practicing our steps on the job. Amen. <laughs> Just couldn't wait, brother. Got home, got cleaned up, changed clothes. You and your buddies and your roomies, y'all was just, y'all knew how. A lot of folk didn't go to one club that Friday night. Mm -hmm. They made it their business to hit it by three or four or five of them. Yeah. And then when those clubs close, if they close, they'll go to an all-night spot. Amen. So they can sit there and just drink, 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 and get high and meet some strange woman and he's so drunk he, he don't know what he's talking to. Amen. I often think of a brother he's not <laughs> he's not here now and uh, man he was telling me how he was uh, I don't know whether he was drunk or not I don't remember 
but he said he either was in a department store somewhere talking, having a long conversation mm. to a mannequin. Oh. What? <laughs> Amen. Long conversation with the mannequin, and he was wondering why the mannequin was quiet. To him, you know, mannequins don't talk. He said he was just talking and talking, and he said in his mind he was wondering, well, maybe the person, you know, don't want to say anything. He said, but then when he noticed, uh -huh. he waked up. Yeah. Lord. Amen. He, it was a mannequin. Mm. And when you're drunk, it'll make you do all type of foolish things. That's right. That's true. I often think of the fella I came up with in the hood named Nate. We called him Ghost. Ghost. And as a child, I was sleeping on the third floor, and, and I heard that noise, and I think it was Tuesday night, if I remember, it was trash night, and folks had all type of stuff out there. Well, my next-door neighbor had a refrigerator, <laughs> and Ghost was coming down the street drunk, talking to himself loudly. Yeah. And I happened to look out the window. I said, oh, there's Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> he was just cussing and talking to himself because, you know, liquor make you talk to people that's not around. That's right. <laughs> you that have experienced that, you can say amen. amen. <laughs> liquor make you hear voices that's not speaking to you. Liquor make you see things that's not in existence at the time. That's right. So Ghost was coming down the street and bumped up against the refrigerator. And then he cussed the refrigerator out. <laughs> he told the refrigerator, get out of my way. Don't you see me coming by? He was standing there talking to it. Had his cool kangaroo cap to the side, throwing wolf tickets to the refrigerator. Oh, Lord. Then he pushed the refrigerator. And the weight of the refrigerator went back, came back up, hit Ghost in the chest. Ghost was like, w were you hitting me? <laughs> Ghost cussed the refrigerator out. My Lord. And the refrigerator and Ghost had it out. Amen. Ghost knocked the refrigerator down and stomped him. Then stood over it and told it, get up. <laughs> get up. My Lord. So that's what liquor do to you now. Make a fool out of you. Listen at this. And you that was sometime alienated. When you was alienated out there in the world, smoking your weed, getting high. Mm. Hey Amen. Yeah, you folk out there now vaping, just vaping, 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 vaping right. drinking, gambling, partying. That's right. Out there all night. Yeah. Amen. The moment you get sick. You want to become religious. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Become religious when the doctors say, well, we've done all we can do. <laughs> when yeah. The moment they hear the doctor say, we've done all we can do, right then, right then. they call their religious mama. That's right. Amen. Or their religious daddy. That's daddy, right. he come down with the hymn book and mama rubbing his hands. Singing uh, some type of old religious song. Amen. But the moment that man or woman start feeling a little bit better, yeah. just a little bit, he or she going to light that cigarette back up That's right. or get that whiskey. That's right. And here is God Almighty that you treat worse than you treat a dog. Amen. He still be merciful to the fool. That's right. All right. And you that were sometime alienated uh -huh. and enemies in your mind. Enemies by, in your mind. By in, wicked works. In your mind enemies. you was the enemy by your wicked works. You cuss God out. Yeah. yeah. That's right. You call God a MF. Amen. Amen. You say, God, you don't exist. There's no God. There's that's, no you. God. That's, that's you. That's some, some of you here did it. Mm -hmm. The devil had you blind. You cuss God out. Right. Say God don't exist and then the devil make you look at the world and say if there's a God, why is it poor people? God ain't never said everybody gonna be rich. What kind of dumb question is that? That's like saying if there's a God, why so much unemployment? Don't blame unemployment on God. That's right. God said you're gonna have the poor. How long, Lord? Always. Always. Hear this. 
And you that were sometime alienated. Look at yourself now. I want everybody here to look at themselves and you that are watching. Mm -hmm. Look at your cigarette sucking, amen, beer guzzling, dice rolling self. Amen. Here you've been out there on the corner 15, now you're 75. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Having made no changes. That's right. None. That's right. Have you ever came up with friends? And you go down to your old neighborhood and see them doing the same thing for the past 50 years? Yeah. Drink themselves to death until no white is even in the eye. Amen. Eyes all yellow. Yeah. Amen. Lips all black from cigarettes and hard liquor. That's right. Fingertips got all type of burn marks on them from smoking that blunt. Just, just, just got all down there. Yeah. Lips wrapped around the, What's left and his finger and his thumb, like he kissing his fingers. <laughs> Amen. Like he kissing his whole finger. That's right. Eh? That's right. Oh, thank God. You get what I'm talking. And you that That's was... you, villain! And you. And you. what? And you. And you. That was sometime alienated. Look at you. Amen. Hey, you. Amen. 18, 19, 20, 21, riding around at night. Picking up young girls, and now you're 78, 79, and 80. That's right. Hey Amen. With contact lenses on and bifocals. <laughs> and right. a hearing aid. Still riding around picking up women. Amen. Having changed. Having changed. Having changed. And many of these young, ignorant, dumb girls will just jump at anything as long as they show them green. That's right. As long as you show them money. That's right. Hey Amen. I'm laboring hard to pull America off the streets of wickedness and the world. Amen. And bring you back to the original place that God intended for you. That's right. And the original place that God intended for you was to be holy. Be holy. Don't you know before Adam fell, the Garden of Eden was all right. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Before, hallelujah. Thank God before the serpent deceived the woman yeah. and before the fall of the man, okay. everything was clean. Everything was holy. Everything was spotless and blameless. That's right. But here come the serpent. From the serpent. And the serpent is still here. Oh, yes. That's why folks just go to the Bible to, a, to go to church to appear to be religious. Hmm. Go there on a Sunday or go there on a Saturday, but they just as full of hell as that devil himself. That's right. All right. And you that were sometime alienated. What is it? And enemies in your mind. Enemies in your mind. By wicked works. By your works. Yet now hath he reconciled. Wait a minute. Hmm. But now. Yet now hath he reconciled. He got you straightened out. That's right. And in the body of his flesh through death. Wait a minute. How did he reconcile us? In the body. In the body. Of his flesh. How? Through death. That's why God was manifested in the flesh. That's right. That's why God took on flesh. That's that right. he may do what? Yet now hath he reconciled. That he may reconcile you. In the body of his in flesh. In the body. He want to connect you to the spirit. Through death. Through what? Through death. The death of the son of man brought reconciliation. That's right. That's right. Without death, Without death, no atonement. No atonement. Without death, no reconciliation. That's right. Without death, no church. That's right. Without death, no life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And now he come along and made a rule here. Yeah. We got to be killed all, all the day, day long. long. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Don't get mad at me. I'm, I'm just a murderer. That's all. <laughs> You want to know what I am? I'm a murderer. As it is written. Uh, amen. I'm a murderer. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an assigned assassin. That's right. Where they got I'm a sharpshooter. A sharpshooter. Sent by God to kill everything that's not like hallelujah. hallelujah. That's hallelujah. 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 Or it take God that's not like God. I said I'm tempted to do that. That's right. As it is written. I, I, I wouldn't do that on my own. No way. No. No way. Oh, what I care. No way. And man, I'd be sitting at my home, sitting back outside on a day like the day. Yeah. And a nice hammock swinging, listening yeah. to some nice mellow music and the birds nice. chirping nice. and a hummingbird that may stop by and visit me once in a while. <laughs> Amen. 
But besides that, I'm here. Right Thank here. God with the Bible. With the Bible. To kill everybody. <laughs> that's right. Everyone that's here and all the millions that's watching. I'm, I'm, oh, yes, I'm sent to, to kill you. I'm just sent that's to right. do that. That's right. Certainly, don't blame me. That's right. I confess I'm a murderer. <laughs> As it is written. I confess, I said. <laughs> that's right. Hey, man, that's why a lot of you don't like me because the word of God shot you and they hit you. Oh, yeah. And struck the very thing you love and don't want to give up. That's right. Hallelujah. And because you don't want to give it up, you say, he's mean, he's the devil, he's that. Call me what you want. That's right. But before you go back with God, Hallelujah. you got to surrender everything that God is against. That's right. You're going to have to do it. That's right. Eh? As it is written. As it is written. For Hallelujah. thy sake. For thy sake. We are killed. How often? All the day long. Hallelujah. Wait a minute. You killed all the day long. And who is it good for? For, for thy sake. Wait, we. Wait. It's what? We. For what? For thy sake. Oh, it's for your good. Yes. That's right. Oh, yes. It's for your good. That's why God sent a preacher for your good. <laughs> That's right. You can never die in a false church. No. You can't be killed in a false church. No way. False church don't shoot no Bible. That's Amen. Right. You got rocks and you got little spitballs. Amen. Little false prophet come along. What he preached don't hurt you. No. You just go there, you know, a choir starts singing and you feel moving. You start crying and loose and then your fake three inch eyelashes get loose and your old red lips get all smudgy and tears black because the online shadow you're losing that. That's right. You get a little happy from the choir, jump around behind your chairs and you go back to the ladies room and adjust your wig. That's right. Yeah. Amen. 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 He don't preach nothing against the sin. No. Nothing. No, no. The Holy Ghost says. As it is written. It's written. For thy sake. It's for your good. We are killed. How often? All the day long. You better emphasize on all, Williams. All the day long. Nice. Amen. Huh? Amen. I don't know what Pastor Jennings, how you killed all the day long. Hmm. I don't hear preaching all the day long when you hear the word of God and it's in your heart no. and you're about to do something you ain't got no business <laughs> doing. Right. That dagger of the scripture start hitting you. That's right. The Bible says the Holy Ghost will bring things back to your memory. That's right. And when the Holy Ghost bring things to your memory, that means you know better. So therefore, he's striking your mind that's and it. striking your heart. That's and right. when he do that, that's what makes you say, Lord, yes. forgive me. That's right. Hallelujah. Go ahead, take off. That's right. I'm sorry. Hallelujah. Yeah. Go ahead, Hallelujah. man. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, take off. That's what makes you cry. Out. That's right. Preach it. Make you cry out. You're sorry. That's right. Why? You know you don't want to go to hell for what you've done. That's right. That's right. Oh, no. As it is written. But it's written. Hallelujah. For thy sake. God. For your good, we are killed. How often? All the day long. Hey Amen. I'm determined to keep shooting you too. Uh, oh yeah. You out there watching, you can call me a SOB and a MF and that which you do. And right. call me an atheist, call me an antichrist, call me nigger, nigga, <laughs> niggy. Right. Call me whatever you like. Whatever you like. Hey Amen. Call me whatever you like. But when it's done, I'm right. coming back up with Bible. That's right. And, and I don't have to load it. Oh no. no. It stays loaded. Oh the time that's the right. loaded. That's right. And we coming back. That's right. Oh, we go and take God with the same thing. Same thing. And As it is written. It's written for here. For thy sake. For what? For thy sake. For your good. We are killed. What? We are killed. How often? All the day long. That's why you love the false prophet. Oh, yeah. He come along and pet you. That's right. You got a second wife? Yeah, Bishop. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. That's I right. got one too. <laughs> that's right. Huh? That's right. <laughs> Come rub you. Yep, that's Bishop, right. what about this baptism in the name of Jesus Christ? I was baptized for the Son of the Holy Ghost. That's all right. All that's right. all right. That's that's all right. It's the Trinity. That's right. That's the, that's the trend. It, he'll rub you down. Yes, he Bishop, will. is it a sin to smoke? No, you got a light. You got a light, huh? <laughs> so where they come. That's where that's the preacher right. is. That's right. The bishop will call you. So what you doing tonight, Deacon Brown? Why nothing? Well, look, there's a club about three blocks away from the church. It just opened up. Come on. Come on. Well, I've been there already, Bishop. Well, come on and show me what it's like. That's right. 
You old hell-bound, Bible-carrying, Cadillac-driving, manicured, nail-cross-wearing heathens. That's right. You're going to come back to Bible or to hell you going. As it is written. It's written here. For thy sake. I am the world you expect to be right with God without death. That's right. That's right. For us to be complete in him, it got to be a complete death. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Bible says we are dead. In him, in him and our life is, is hid in Christ. Christ in God. Glory to God. That's with right. God. That's right. Glory to God in order for us to die, you got to have a killer. Oh, yeah. A killer got to be on the loose. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. On the loose. That's killer right. on the loose. That's right. You better give me the book of Kings. I yeah. want to get Bible, Bible for this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Amen. I'm going to give you Bible for a killer on the loose. Second Kings. <laughs> Second Kings. Second Kings, chapter Second, 9 chapter and nine. verse 10. Chapter <laughs> 9 and uh, chapter 10. Amen. God raised a man up by the name of Jehu. Jehu. Thank God and brother, the spirit of God came on Jehu, and he had charge from God to kill. That's right. Physically kill. That's right. Yeah. All the house of Ahab. Now, I don't have that. Uh, I'm not sent to physically kill you. No. I'm sent to spiritually kill you. Oh, yeah. Amen. Because it does more damage. Oh, yeah. That kills your mind. That kills your eyes and kill your ears, kill your mouth. And That's right. Kill your hands and kill your feet and kill your productive organs. Kill you when you sit down. Kill you when you stand up. Go ahead, man. And catch you while you're sleeping. Catch you in bed and kill you. That's right. Man. That's right. Amen. Because uh, someone said, in your sleep, hold that. Give me the book of Jude. Jude. Jude only have one one chapter that's right let's see did the bible get target practice on our sleep all in our mind that's right R right while we're snoozing that's right listen at this Jude chapter one and at verse eight follow me likewise also likewise also also these filthy dreamers these dirty dreamers defile the flesh amen if filthy. you're a dirty dreamer what condition your flesh is in defile the flesh yeah. Amen. That's Filthy target dreams. practice, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's a Bible shooting at your subconscious thought. That's right. The Holy Ghost said. Likewise also these filthy dreamers. Doing what? Defile the flesh. Amen. She's married, mm. but she saw someone that caught her eye. That's and she right. just can't shake them off. Even when she see them in person, she look at them. That's and right. just say to herself, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Amen. The Bible, and then she started dreaming because the Bible says a dream comes through a multitude of business. Of business. And when she lay down, mm. she go one step beyond. That's right. Then to the outer limits. That's right. That's right. What happens? She commit adultery. Likewise also. In a dream. That's right. But the question is how often how with often. how many? Mm. Question you too, brother. That's how important. often, That's with important. how many, do you fornicate with? Who said I'm a virgin? How? How? We well, ain't never touched nobody. That's wonderful. You talking about with your hands, with your mm. mouth, with your feet? Yeah. You're a virgin physically, but physically. you're gonna be a veteran mentally. Mentally. And spiritually. That's right. Mm -hmm. Likewise. Not, 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 not too many amens. No, no. no. <laughs> right. Very little. Very early, little. Earlier, folk was saying hallelujah and glory. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Waving their hand, fill, filling the spirit. God, we hit that spiritual thing. My God, everybody look at you. How many times a day mm. do you fornicate or commit adultery? Amen. How many times a day? Amen. Go ahead, brother. How many times a night in your dreams? In your dreams. My Lord. Ah, uh, Lord. Wonderful. Even some of the ones that are saying amen is guilty. That's right. But they got to say amen because it's the truth. That's right. You got to say amen because it's the truth. You That's got right. to. That's right. That's true. Amen. <laughs> you got to say amen. Amen. I'm to say, I'm not going to say it's going to give me away. If you shut up, you, you, it's going to give you away anyway. That's right. Because the Holy Ghost said. Likewise also these filthy dreamers. Ah, defile these the flesh. filthy dreamers. Filthy dreamers. Not one dreamer. No. Dreamers. Filthy dreams. What does it do to their body? Defile the flesh. That's why he wake up. Amen. Yeah. Huh? He wake up all tight, gazing. That's right. God need a cold shower. That's right. Huh? That's true. 
she wake up, jump up in bed. <laughs> that was the devil. That was you. Uh, amen. No liar. Try to pass the buck on the devil. That's you. That's right. If something look good to you because you born again, because that man is married or woman is married, that God ain't going to make them ugly. No. Because they married, just face that fact. That's right. That's right. You see, I'm a realist. Oh, yes. And man, we love to pour your nose down to Bible. Amen. What did the Bible say, William? Likewise also, these filthy dreamers. Holy dreamers. Filthy dreamers. Sanctified dreamers. Filthy dreamers. What does it do to the body? Defile the flesh. Amen. What else? Despise dominion. Despise, reject authority. And speak evil of and dignities. And speak evil of dignities. Of dignities. All right. Come on now. Let's go back to where we were. Now we're in Second Kings. I want Kings. them to breathe a little bit better Let's now. Breathe a little. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> maybe I'll get some more of them amens like I had earlier. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. All right. Let me show you in the Bible where God sent a man mm -hmm. in the Old Testament yeah. and made him a mercenary that's right for his glory mm, for his glory for his glory <laughs> that's right because when god say i kill that's right he can kill you through somebody yes he that's can right. now let's give you bible for this follow me second follow kings. me follow me come on william second kings chapter 9 and we're starting at the very first verse yes and elisha the prophet called i hope i have time to get all of this come on and Elisha the prophet called one of the children of the prophets. Yes. And said unto him, Gird up thy loins, and take this box of oil in thine hand, and go to Ramoth Gilead. Yes. And when thou comest thither, look out there Jehu, the son of Jehoshaphat, the son of Nimshai. Yes. And go in and make him arise up from among his brethren, and carry him to an inner chamber. Yes. Then take the box of oil and pour it on his head, and say, Thus saith the Lord. In other words, he was being anointed. Oh, yeah. Thus saith the Lord. I have anointed thee king over Israel. I have anointed thee king of Israel. Then open the door and flee and tarry not. Yes. So the young man, even the young man, the prophet, went to Ramoth Gilead. And when he came, behold, the captains of the host were sitting. And he said, I have an errand to thee, O captain. And Jehu said, Unto which of all of us? Eh? And he said, To thee, O captain. And he arose and went into the house. Yeah. And he poured the oil on his head and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord Thus God of Israel. Thus saith the Lord God of Israel. I have anointed thee king I over the people of the Lord. king. Over the people of the over Lord. Over God's people. Even over Israel. Uh -huh. And thou shalt smite the house of Ahab thy master. Wait. Uh-huh. He's anointed. Anointed. To be king. That's right. But what's your mission? Thou shalt smite the house of Ahab thy master. Yet he's anointed. That's right. To be king. Right. But what is his mission? Thou shalt smite the house of Ahab thy master. All right, let's keep traveling. We're going to see how he went on a divine killing spree. Yeah. That I may avenge the blood of thy servants, the prophets, and Wait. the blood. Wait, mm. God used Jehu yeah. to kill. That's right. And that was his way of taking vengeance. That's right. Because many of his prophets were slain. Right. So God sent a man and made him murder for his glory. That's right. That's right. Bible said the ways of the Lord are strange. Oh, yeah. Now he ain't sending nobody to make you, make him physically murder nobody. No. He's sending now men to kill your will. That's right. Through and by preaching the word of God. That's my weapon. That's right. The word of God is my hammer. The word of God is my sword. The word of God is my axe. Oh, yeah. It's a hammer because many of you are hard head and stubborn. That's right. Got to take the hammer and put it to that old hard head of yours. And man, many of you is tied to things real tight. So now I got to take the sword out. Same word. Yeah. Right. Just got to use it in a different way. That's right. And serve it tied because it's like a two egg sword. Yeah. Amen. Then some of you have been in what you're in so long you can't get out. So I got to get the axe. Get the axe. Yes. And go to the root. That's right. Because as long as you at the root of a thing, that thing is nurturing your habit. That's right. Yeah. That's right. If you cut a tree at the root, then what's on top can't be nurtured no more. Right. Oh, yeah. Then I take the Bible and grind the stump. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Grind the stump until there's nothing left. That's right. All right. And thou shalt smite the house of Ahab thy master, and that I may avenge the blood of my servants, the prophets, yes. and the blood of all of the servants of the Lord at the hand of Jezebel. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Mm. All the servants of the Lord at, at the what? hand of Jezebel. Jezebel done some work, brother. Yes, she did. Jesse was something. Yes, she was. Anytime you had men of God move from the valley, from the valleys. 
and was placed in caves. caves. Yeah. That woman had some power. Oh, yeah. Ain't no need. Yeah. Somebody say, well, I met, I met one brother said, Pastor Jennings, uh, every woman is tempting to me. Mm. I told him, I said, you in bad shape. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's all type of things out here. <laughs> Amen. Hmm? Amen. Amen. But there's some men that's just that dirty there. Let me get plain language on you. They knock up anything that offer it free. That's true. I don't care what she look like, act like, smell like, dress like. Mm. If it's free, he ain't turn it down. That's right. That is a pure dog. That's a dog. That's and That's some true. women are the same way. Amen. Don't care what he look like, act like, smell like, unemployed, employed, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. As long as he got some greenbacks. That's right. Even if his money is monopoly money. <laughs> It give her hope anyway. Amen. Amen. She had, it is a sad thing. Yeah. Sad thing the way the world have gone now. Oh, Come yeah. on, William. For the whole house of Ahab shall perish. What? The whole, the whole house, house of Ahab. I want you viewers to get this. Amen. The whole house of Ahab shall perish. And I will cut off from Ahab. Listen here, I'm going to cut off from Ahab. Him that pisseth against the wall. You're pissing against the wall, I'm going to kill you. And him that is shut up and left him in Israel. Him that is shut up that's left in Israel, and I'm I will make you too. Mm -hmm. And I will do what? And I will make the house of Ahab like the house of Jeroboam, the son of Nebet. Real quick. And like the house of Baash, the son of Ahijah. Yes. And the dog shall eat Jezebel in the Look portion of Jezreel. Jezebel ain't going to get away. That's right. No. Her end at Jezebel end. What's going to be her end? And the dog the shall dogs eat Jezebel. It's going to eat Jezebel. In the portion of Jezreel. In the portion of Jezreel. And you know, whenever the prophets speak by God's permission, it just got to be. That's right. Doesn't matter how harsh and brutal it sounds. It's going to be like God says until God says he confirmed. The words of his servant. That's right. All right. And the dog shall eat Jezebel in the portion of Jezreel. Yes. And there shall be none to bury her. Uh -huh. And he opened the door and fled. The dog's going to eat her. Mm -hmm. She won't have a burial. None to bury her. Remember that. That's right. Uh -huh. Then Jehu came forth to the servants of his Lord. And one said unto him, Is all well? Is all well? Wherefore came this mad fellow to thee? And he said, Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. They call him mad. Mad fellow. He brought the message of God. And what was his response? Wherefore came this mad fellow to thee? That's when you bring people the truth of the gospel, mad they fellow. call you mad. <laughs> That's right. Hey, you're crazy. You lost your mind. You're a lunatic. Yeah. You're, That's right. You're foolish. You're arrogant. You, that's, they call you everything because they don't want the message to be true. That's right. Uh -huh. And he said unto them, you know the man and his communication. Yes. And they said, it is false. Amen. That's what they're saying about this message. That's what they're saying about this. They say it's false, but it's, it's false. not. That's right. Amen. There's some of you here that said it was false, but it hooked you. That's right. Hey Amen. This word got all in your jaw and you was waddling like a fish out of water. Amen. For you know it that you found out the Bible had more power than you. Yes. And drug you to shore. That's right. And start scaling you, Amen. preparing you for the kingdom. That's right. You know, when you get that fish, bless God, straight from the uh, down there at the dock, uh, bringing, you bring the whole thing home. Yeah. You flay it, flay it, and scale it yourself. Oh, yes. Amen. And that's what you do. You got to come on to the church and let the word scale you. That's it. Amen. That's what I am. I'm a scaler. That's right. Amen. I see all kind of fish. Some of y'all are piranhas. <laughs> got a whole lot of mouth. A whole lot of mouth. Some of y'all are hammerheads. Amen. Amen. Some of you are like the octopus wrapped around everything. That's right. Eh? That's yeah. right. Glory to God. Come on, William. And they said, it is false. It's false. Tell us now. And he said, thus and thus spake he to me. Yeah. Saying, thus saith the Lord, I have anointed thee king over Israel. I have anointed you king of Israel. Then they hastened and took every man his garment and put it under him on the top of the stairs. Real quick. And blew with trumpets, saying, Jehu is king. Mm -hmm. So Jehu, the son of Jehoshaphat, the son of Nimshi, conspired against Joram. Do you hear that? Amen. Yeah. Now it's time for Jehu. To go to work. Go to work. Come on, son. Now, Joram had kept Ramoth Gilead, he and all Israel, because of Hazael, king of Syria. Yes. But Joram was returned to be healed in Jezreel of the wounds. Yes. Which the Syrians had given him when he fought with and Hazael, king of Syria. Yes. And Jehu said, if it be your mind. If it be your mind. Then let none go forth nor escape out of the city to go tell it in Jezreel. Yes. So Jehu rode in a chariot. 
<laughs> and went to Jezreel. And what? For Joram lay there, and Ahaziah, king of Judah, was come down to see Joram. Uh -huh. And there stood a watchman on the tower in Jezreel. And what did he say? And he spied the company of Jehu as he came and said, I see a company. Wait a minute. Amen. Something's coming. That's yeah. right. And what is it? I see a company. And Joram said, take a horseman and send it to meet them. And let him say, is it peace? Let him say, <laughs> is it peace? Is everything all right? So there went one on horseback to meet him. Yes. And said, thus saith the king, is what? it peace? Is it peace? And Jehu said, what has thou Jehu to do with peace? Jehu said, what do you got to do with peace? And that's the way folks are about us. That's right. Amen. They come at us. Is, is everything all right, Pastor Jenner? Well, you know about everything being all right. <laughs> you come on to the Bible and obey it. That's, That's right. right. Do what it says. Yeah. That's it. Uh -huh. And Jehu said, what has thou to do with peace? What do you have to do with peace? Turn thee behind me. Get away from here. And the watchman told, saying, the messenger came to them, but he cometh not again. <laughs> he went, but he ain't returned. Then he sent out a second on, ho on horseback. You know, he was on a mission. That's right. Every man that God anoints, yeah. he has a mission. That's oh, yeah. Right. You bear that in mind, viewer. That's right. Every man in that Bible, or even that's the last apostle John, closed his eyes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Every man after that whom the Lord sends, that's right. God give him a mission and an assignment. That's right. He's just not up hosting services every week. No. Hosting. Huh? Right. Just hosting services hosting. every week, making little podcasts, telecasts, and little back back guardians and all. No. That's right. He have a mission. That's right. That's right. It's a direct assignment given to him from God. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Then he sent out a second on horseback which came to them. And what? And said, Thus saith the king, Is it peace? Is it peace? And Jehu answered, What hast thou to do with peace? Turn thee behind me. Get behind me. And the watchman told, saying, He came even unto me and cometh not again. And the driving is like the driving of Jehu. Wait a minute. He recognized how Jehu drove that chariot. That's right. You know, there's some people in the neighborhood, I don't care how late it is, you know who it is coming up the street. That's true. That's true. You'd be true. like, oh my God, is Logan coming up the street again? <laughs> Why? Nobody drives like him. That's right. Three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. And all he's doing is coming up the street. That's right. Wake everybody up. Amen. Jehu, he, they knew how he rode that chariot because he drove it furiously. furiously. Listen at this. And the driving is like the driving of Jehu, the it, son of like Nimshah. It's like the driving of Jehu, the son of Nimshah. For he driveth furiously. He, he worked them horses. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And Joram said. How the dust get kicked up. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Joram said, make ready, and his chariot was made ready. Yes. And Joram, king of Israel, and Ahaziah, king of Judah, went out, each in his chariot. And they went out against Jehu. And met him in the portion of Naboth the Jezreelite. And it came to pass when Joram saw Jehu that he answered, said, Is it peace, Is Jehu? It everything all right, Jehu? And he answered, What peace? What peace? So long as the horns of thy mother. Wait, wait, Jezebel. wait, 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 wait. Mm. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Do you hear what he said? And it came to pass it when Joram saw to Jehu. Pass when Joash saw, saw Jehu, Jehu, that he said, Is it peace, Jehu? Look at him. Coming all nice and nice. whatnot. Right. Jehu, is it peace? Yeah. And he answered, and what Jehu peace? Jehu said, what peace? And he gave him a tongue lashing. So long. So long. As the horns of thy mother Jezebel. As your mother Jezebel act like a whore. And her witchcrafts and are her so witchcraft many. her witchcraft are so many. Yeah. And Jehu come out there to hear that. No. No, no. no way. <laughs> no way. I think of the segment of the message in the gym that someone took. About man, maybe two or three minutes when I was talking about the way women look and how they appear, their appearance is like the yeah. appearance of whores That's and whatnot. Right. Yeah. All in churches on choirs, half naked, yeah. Yeah. with hot pants on behind, hanging all out, little pants, big body, That's big right. body up top, and a blouse about that big yeah. that's causing tension on the buttons. All for attention. That's right. Christian so-called singers yeah. with high spike, whore looking heels like heels. stilettos and fishnet stockings. That's yeah. Right. That's right. In the church, Pastor. And then when they took that message 
and it went viral. Yeah. 10, 7, 8, 9, 10 million. Yeah. And it's still traveling. Yeah. It made people want to know who was this crazy fella. Amen. And all I was doing was preaching for women to put, be modest. That's right. Love yourself. Right. And stop right. thinking you got to look like the celebrities in Hollywood to be respected. That's right. Love the way God made you. Yeah. You don't need lipstick. Well, that goes for men, too, because they wearing it, too. That's true. That's true. You ain't right. got to arch your eyebrows. Yeah. If your mustache is gray, just putting that old black pencil in it, looking like Groucho March. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. If God make your mustache white as this handkerchief, thank God for it. Amen. Love the way God made you. That's right. Stop trying to hide them painted toenails in your shoes. God see past them shoes and stockings, you old hypocrite Jezebel. That's right. You're still like Jezebel. Still like her. Get that paint off your toes. If you're not like Jezebel, then get that whole look off. That's right. But I got my shoes on. Nobody can see it. You're a liar. The eyes of the Lord run to and fro in the order. That's right. Think that make your toes look cute? You look like a fool. That's a fool. That's right. Clown feet. <laughs> That's right. Nice. the way God made you. That's right. Rouge all on your face. Ten inches eyelashes. Yeah. yeah. Look like paint brushes. Oh, yeah. I see our young girls walking the street and in the airports in my travel. Yeah. They look like they just got out of bed. That's true. Walk the airport, That's bedroom, true. slippers, pajamas, old 10-inch looking, dirty looking eyelashes, a bonnet on that they should wear to bed. Yeah. Come on. Just walking out there in the airport in pajamas, just twerking in a camera. Amen. We was on our way out of town, me and a few brothers, and it was about four young girls. Airport was packed. They set their little phones up, videotaping themselves, Old bonnet on like they just got out of bed, rollers under that, My lips Lord. looking pasty, face looking ashy, <laughs> fake eyelashes on, pajamas on, big bunny rabbit slippers, My Lord. twerking in the airport, and people just shaking their head looking at them. My Lord, my Lord. You hellions ain't got no shame at all. That's right. That's and right. you think it's Cute. You look like a ghetto rat, whether <laughs> you're black, white, brown, or red. You're like a ghetto rat. That's right. Get me? Amen. Yeah. Amen. I know you don't like it and look now. Do I even look like I care if you don't? Get some clothes on you. Stop looking like an old wretched prostitute. That's right. Put some clothes on your church and stop <laughs> letting your daughter advertise her five-year-old behind. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. What the word of God says. And it came to pass when Joram saw Jehu. When Joram saw Jehu. That he said, is it peace, Jehu? Is it peace? And he answered, what peace? You think you're hiding from God, eh? You took the paint off your fingers, mm -hmm. off your lips, off the rouge of your face. Yeah. And then got them old clown feet. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You's a heathen. That's a heathen. That goes for any of you watching and you that are here. That's right. I don't care if you are speaking in tongue. You's a heathen. That's right. You's a clown foot heathen. Amen. You still got Jezebel spirit in you. Yeah. Huh? You oh, still yeah. out of oh, here. Yeah. You got Jezebel spirit still in you. Preach it, man. Amen. Get what I'm telling you. Is it peace, Jehu? Is it peace? And he answered, what peace? Human family, do you have peace with God? Go ahead, brother. Are your deeds at odds with him? You're either going to be all for God or you're not. That's right. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Wait till you get in your 40s and 50s and late. Now you want to paint your toes, you fool. That's a fool. Get that turpentine and get that junk off. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Sometimes you see a beautiful young woman, all nice and clean, well put together and whatnot. And then she light up a cigarette, spoil a whole look. Yeah. That's true. Oh yeah. That's true. 
for the whole look. I mean, all well put together from top to bottom and put together just right and whatnot. And next thing you know, that's right. Some men don't care if she got up three care. cigars in her mouth. <laughs> Amen. It's a disgrace. Oh, right. yeah. Listen. Is it peace, Jehu? Is it peace, Jehu? And he answered, what peace? What peace? So long as the whoredoms of thy mother so Jezebel. So long as the whoredom of mm -hmm. your mama Jezebel. He's talking he talking about his mama. His mo that's right. That's People right. write me and say that man is mean. He's talking about folks' mama and all that stuff. That's right. That's right. Is your mama Jezebel? Amen. Do your mama look like Jezebel? Mm. Hey, mothers, are you looking like Jezebel today? My Lord. Have you, in your young days, had a mother, young man, who told you, stay away from that girl that looked like Jezebel. That's right. That's stay right. From, away from that Jezebel looking girl. That's yeah. right. You young men didn't know what she was talking about. No. But if you read about Jezebel in the Bible, the Bible called her the great whore. The great whore. Yes. She right. slain many. Many. Jezebel is the most renowned prostitute in the history of the Bible. That's right. That's true. She made men of God run. run. Yeah. Here's the mighty prophet Elijah. Glory to God. Yeah. Yeah. This man has such connections with heaven, he called fire from heaven. Oh, yeah. He ain't called no fire on Jezebel. No. Jezebel sent a letter. When he read that letter, that's right. Jezebel, man, Elijah took off. Took off. And all she did was send him a letter. That's yeah. it. That's right. Obadiah came to the prophet yeah. and said, Have I not been told you how I hid the servants of the Lord in caves? He said, he had to hide them. He had to hide them from Jezebel. That's right. Went from the valley, had to move to the cave. Caves. Yeah. Came cavemen, <laughs> cave dwellers. That's right. Just to hide from one woman. Yeah. She was knocking off the prophets. Oh, yes. Huh? Oh, yes. I remember I read an article years ago. They said a woman was so fine, so beautiful, so built, so put together, and had AIDS, and men knew it, mm. but they, 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 they said they couldn't help it. And she would tell them, I got AIDS, but Lord. she was so gorgeous mm. until they was willing to get burnt. My Lord. And die. Mm. Yeah. It ain't that much beauty in the world. No way. Are you getting the old man? Amen. Hmm? I had a lot of folks when I preached this, they say a woman must really hurt him. No, I'm <laughs> preaching it because it's Bible. It's Bible. That's you know, right. A woman hurt me. I'm preaching it because. <laughs> oh, yes, I have a lot of women right lay me out. You old so and so and so. I don't care if I do look like Jezebel. So what? Wow. All right. Some woman got over the internet, heard me preaching this, and posted. She put about three hearts and big red lips and said her name was something. She said, uh, Pastor Jennings, I want to come out and play with you. Mm. She said, I'll be your Jezebel. <laughs> my Lord, uh -huh. my Lord. You'll be my Jezza in hell. <laughs> That's what I, you'll be right in hell. That's right. Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. 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 Come on, son. Is it peace, Jehu? Is and, it peace, Jehu? And he answered, what peace? What peace? So long as the whoredoms of thy mother Jezebel. Yeah. And her witchcrafts are and so her many. Witchcraft, her witchcraft. Witchcraft. Now, let us remember witchcraft is also likened unto the spirit of the rebellion. Spirit of rebellion. Yeah. All right. And, and Joram turned his hands and fled and said to Ahazia. Real quick. There is treachery, O Ahaziah. Uh oh, 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 oh. Treachery. Oh, my God, after you hear of that, he says, What? There is treachery, O Ahaziah. We better get moving, something wrong. And Jehu. This man talking about my mama, I ain't go ask him about that. <laughs> it wasn't peace, he called my mama whore, get away. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I come on to talk nice to him. This man called my mama whore and oh, everything what? else. I'm getting out of here. That's right. And when he went running, what did he say? 
There's a, treachery. There is treachery over Hazael. Some, something went wrong. Something wrong with yeah. Jehu. That's right. Uh -huh. And Jehu drew a bow with his full strength. Why he's running? He got a bow at his full strength. And smote Jehoram between his arms. Kill him. And the arrow went out at his heart. Do you hear that? Amen. Get him while he's running. That's right. That's what I'm doing with God help. That's right. Hey Amen. I'm, I'm shooting you while you're running. That's right. You're running away from the word of God thinking you get away. You turn around a corner. But this, listen, this arrow go around corners. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, uh, That's right. Now you know, you, you're going to run zigzag all you want. Zigzag. Are, run around the corner. But when you look back, there's an arrow right there. That's right. You, you'll be looking at arrows. ain't supposed to do that, but this is. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Come on, say what? Wait, wait, where is that at, Pastor Jenny? Where, where the Bible mentioned anything about God liking unto arrows? Give me the book of Habakkuk real quick now. Give me Habakkuk real quick. Yeah. I believe if I'm correct, uh, out of his hands is right. like the arrows. That's right. I believe the third chapter. Yes. Amen. Come on, son. You got to move fast. Got the Habakkuk. Is ticking. Habakkuk chapter 3. All right. And we're at verse 1. Listen. A prayer of Habakkuk the prophet upon Shigunu. Read fast. O Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. Yes. O Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. Amen. Uh -huh. Make known in wrath, remember mercy. Yes. God came from Teman. God came from Teman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. His glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of his praise. And what? And his brightness was as the light. His brightness was as the light. He had horns coming out of his hand. Horns coming out of his hand. And there was hiding of his power. Hiding of his power. Before him went the pestilence. Before him went the pestilence. And burning coals went, burning forth, coals at his went feet. forth at his feet. He stood and measured the earth. And all right, I don't have time to get all that because I, I got too much time. I got to get away. Come on, go back to where you were real fast. Back in 2 Kings. I got to Kings. get as much Jehu as I can. Right. Come on, son. Back in 2 Kings 9 and verse 23. Read fast. And Joram turned his hands and fled and said to him. All right, let's get past that and go right to when Jezebel was up in the tower doing her hair. Now in the book of 2 Kings. Jezebel was in the tower doing her hair and getting herself all dutied up. That's right. And now uh, here come old Jehu again. That's right. He come in town and he saw Jezebel up there getting herself all fixed up. That's right. Listen at this. Second Kings chapter 9, we're at verse 29. All right. And in the 11th year of Joram, the son of Ahab, began Ahaziah to reign over Judah. Yes. And when Jehu was come to Jezreel. When Jehu came to Jezreel. Jezebel heard of it. And she painted her face. Wait. Yeah. Amen. All dialed up. Dialed up. That's the way some women get. That's right. That man come that she's so attracted to. Oh, she started wearing stuff on her face she normally wouldn't wear. That's right. Some of you women don't wear lipstick that are watching. But all of a sudden you've met someone and you're so taken by them, you think you're going to dial yourself up. You dial yourself up. So you put lipstick on and rouge on your face and start wearing stuff you ain't never wore. Amen. Fake old eyelashes. All of a sudden, you go into some Asian sister store to buy some wig. Bought three right. of them, so you can have multiple choices. That's right. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? When you start wearing that stuff, that's why I tell folk, be real. Yeah. Be real. If, if not, then I uh, suppose you get sick and can't wear the makeup. Then what? Then what? Then he's going to see what you really look like. That's right. That's right. Uh -huh. And when Jehu was come to Jezreel, when Jehu came to Jezreel, Jezebel heard of it, and she <laughs> go right to Amen. God. I love how this is written. Oh yeah, come on, William. And she painted her face. Uh oh, that's you, viewers. Oh yeah, that's some of you here, face painters. Mm. Yeah. Amen. I remember when I was in Jamaica debating Las Vegas. And he wanted to talk about some ancestor. Everybody think about no ancestors. We talking Bible here. That's right. God didn't purpose for our women to look like Jezebel. Yeah. What's wrong with the beauty that God gave you? Yeah. Right. That's right. God know what he was doing. Amen. Huh? Amen. God know what he was doing. Yes. That's right. Listen at this. And when Jehu was come to Jezreel, Jezebel heard of it. Uh -huh. And she painted That goes for many of you church women. You yeah. won't wear it to church, but you're sneaking word on the job. Yeah. And where when you're dating your sinner boyfriend because he like it. Right. You become Jezebel for him. That's right. That's right. That's true. You become Jezebel for him. That's right. A 
Double mind. Double, Double mind. mind. You're unstable, unstable in all your ways. Unstable. Eh? And when Jehu was come to Jezreel. When Jezebel, when Jehu came to Jezreel. Jezebel heard of Jezebel it. Jezebel heard of the coming of the man of God. And she painted her face. Put makeup on. And tired her head. Got her hair all together. And looked out at a window. Ah. Amen. She looked out the window and what happened? And as Jehu entered in at the gate, she said, had Zimri peace. Had Zimri peace. Who slew his master. Who killed him. And he lifted up his face to the window and said. What? Who is on no, my. No, he looked up the window and said, oh man, she's fine. And he lifted up his face to the window and said, who is on my side, who? And they looked out to him two or three eunuchs. And what did he suggest? And he said, throw her down. No, throw her a kiss. <laughs> Throw her down. No, let's take it to the Lord and tell us. And he said, throw her down. Buy her evening gown. Throw her down. You mind if I come up there and hang out with you all night? And he said, throw her down. What kind of perfume you got on up there? Throw her down. Yeah, well, you well put together like a thick piece of leather. And he said, throw her down. He ain't say none of that. No, he didn't. She got her hair all done and got her makeup all done. Has them right peace? Them right peace. Jehu, look up there. Hey, who on the Lord's side? Who? There? Who up there on the Lord's side? That's right. And what was, this, what was said? And he said, throw her down. Throw her out the window. So they threw her down. You know she ain't look out the window to get thrown out? <laughs> no. No way. That's like you come and invite some fella to your house and you got your evening gown on and whatnot. You really don't know him. Then all of a sudden he come in and you sit down and you look and so. What you want to do? Come on, Jay! Come on! That's right. And then he said, just give me your hand. And you like. <laughs> he take your hand and you look and you're like, now what? Then all of a sudden, eternal God in the name of Jesus Christ, he looked down upon this Jezebelian woman. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Imagine that. Can you imagine that? He hold your hands, catch you off guard, break out praying. You know you didn't give him those hands for that. That's right. <laughs> Glory to God. That's right. Listen at this. And he lifted up his face to the he window. He lifted up his hands, his face to the window. And said, who is on my side? Who? On who? my side. Amen. Yeah. And when, you, when you was on Jehu's side, you was on the Lord's side because he had a mission from God. That's right. Uh -huh. And they looked out to him two or three eunuchs. Two or three eunuchs. Uh -huh. And he said, throw and her down. And there was not phased by the women. Not, that's, that's right. That's right. Not phased. It wasn't phased by the women, so they ain't mind throwing her out. That's, that's right. right. Glory to God. Amen. Is this your past life, woman? Mm. Is this your past life, woman? Amen. Did you look like Jezebel? Makeup, hair all done, fake fingernails. That's right. That's right. Botox lips, Botox in your cheeks, till you look like an alley cat. Amen. That's um, These things look like animals. That's right. That's Even right. these dumb men trying to do it like Bruce Jenner. Bruce yeah. Jenner isn't an accident waiting to happen. It done happened. Amen. Want to be a woman sometime, a man sometime, a woman. Sometime. God ain't the author of confusion. Oh, right. No. Big running feet in those hills and still got to stand up and use the bathroom. That's right. That's You're still loose, Bruce. That's, eh? that's right. You're still loose, Bruce. Amen. Am I right? I that's, said. that's right. Remember that, loose, Bruce. <laughs> Amen. Come on, Williams. Who is on my side? Who? Who is the God who is on my side? Who? And they looked out to him two or three units. Yes. And he said, throw her down. Throw her, throw her down. So they I don't care how cute she is. No. Throw her down. Throw her down. I don't care how fine or how built or how thick she is. <laughs> That's right. Throw her, throw her down. Throw her down. Not kiss her first, then throw her down. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard brothers say, man. I wish I could have met Jezebel. Mm. 
when you met Jezebel, it's best you ran. That's right. Because she wasn't just beautiful. That woman had a spirit with her. Oh, yeah. She had a seducing Seems spirit. Good. That's right. Anytime a woman single-handedly mm. made prophets practically fear her, yeah. her capability, her skill, her beauty, her finesse, her charm, her ability to seduce and yeah. get what she want out of you. That's right. <laughs> yes. Can you imagine? That's right. Sure. Made men of God that were sent. Run. Run. Yes, I think of the woman that danced for the king. Yeah. Yeah. During the time of this birthday celebration. All she did was dance. Dance. God, man, that thing, if I use the term, turned the king on. That's right. That's right. He looked on it. Oh, yeah. I give you half of half, my kingdom. Half my kingdom. Yeah. And that's what he said? That's what he said. Yeah. And when the door... Yeah, yeah. Get, give him the book of John quickly. In St. Mark chapter 6. Mm -hmm. St. Mark chapter 6, we're at verse when 21. When the daughter of Set Herodias. At verse 22. All right. And when the daughter of the Set Herodias came in and danced. Yes. And please him. I don't know what kind of dance she was putting down. Right. But whatever she done, it did something to that king. That's right. That's right. Listen at this good now. And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced. And danced. And pleased Herod. It pleased Herod. And them that sat with her. And them that sat. The king said unto the damsel, so ask of me whatsoever Look, thou wilt. You ask me whatever you want. And I will give and it to you. I will give it to you. And he swear unto her. And he swear to her. Whatsoever thou shalt ask. Whatever thee, you want. I will give it thee unto the half of my I kingdom. I even give you the half of my kingdom. And she went forth and said unto her mother. Wait, 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 wait. She had a wicked mama. That's right. Yes. She yes. had a wicked mama that couldn't stand the prophet John. That's right. And when the king made this promise. Right. That's right. He couldn't go back on it. No. So the mama feel as though she had capitalized on it. Yeah. Listen closely. How evil. Yeah. Real quick. And she went forth and said unto her mother, what shall I ask? And she said, the head of John the Baptist. Tell that man I want John's head. My Lord. You go on and dance. Keep dancing, daughter. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Keep dancing. He yeah. put it on the king. Yeah. Put it on. Look back at him. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Look back at him, lick your lips at him. Make the king wear his crown sideways. That's right. How much plainer can I make it? Amen. A woman can dance and you offer her your half of your entire business, half of your entire company. That's true. Half of your entire church. That's right. Half of your entire life savings. Hmm. And all she did was dance. Dance. That's why I can never see and understand how was it when you was a sinner and you sinners that still do it. <laughs> can go to a club where the women is out there pole dancing. Give you a lap dance. Come up and down a pole. Shake her breasts. Come on. Shake her rump and twirl. <laughs> walk on her hands and knees. Stick her tongue out at you. Hello. Straddle, cross of you, jump up and down Straddle. on you, grind on you. That's right. Make you pee on yourself like a loose dog. Nice, Bringing it plain, Pastor. I am going to make it plain. <laughs> because when I look at it, they ain't worth $500. No. They ain't worth $500. They ain't worth $1,000. They ain't worth me being broke and it's cold outside. And now I'm out there. And what make it so bad? Go back every week. That's right. And do the same thing. Same thing. Broke every week. Can't take care of your wife. Can't take care of your kids. Can't even put food in the house. Yeah. 
All she did was twirl her chest, shake her behind, straddle you, jump up and down, made you pee again. And here you got crying children. Can't pay your light bill, can't pay your rent, can't pay your mortgage. Because a woman just shook herself? Yeah. That ain't, that's not even $10 worth of shaking. No. No, no. Go ahead, man. You don't like this, do you? No, but remember no, the no. scripture says he's going to get them that piss against the wall. Piss against the wall. I'm going to get you that piss in your pants from going to a club and a woman bouncing on you until she make you urinate on yourself. Amen. And I will cut your off bladder, your Your bladder is weak. You can't be sure doing that. <laughs> You that got weak bladder, stay out of them clubs. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Lord, Lord. Oh, you got a weak bladder, you in the club? In the club. Glory to God. <laughs> Come on, Williams. <laughs> Back in 2 Kings chapter 9 and verse 32. All right. And he lifted up his face to the window. He lifted up his face to the window. And said, who is on my side who? Yeah. And to look out to him two or three units. And he said, throw it down. You know, when they hear me preach like yeah. this, they say, he, and like he always was saved. Hmm. I always wasn't saved. No. <laughs> I understand the joy that you want to have out there. Yeah, it looks good if it's attracted to you. Yeah. But it ain't worth it. Not being broke. That's right. That's right. A man see a woman that's built the way he like it. Of course, that's the first thing he notices is the body. Yeah. First thing I noticed when I saw my wife who was 14. I just was leaving church. I forgot about it. I left church when I saw her jumping rope. <laughs> I remember to this day what she had on as if it was yesterday. You know, in the 70s, when you wear shorts, they were shorts. Short. Especially if they were gym shorts. Yep. She had on them white gym shorts with blue piping, a white t-shirt, and hair down, white sneakers, and those big red bone legs was jumping. <laughs> I remember getting out the car. I just had a pair of custom tailor-made beige pants, beige and brown shirt. Yes. Remember the round glasses they call schoolboys? Yes. I had schoolboys. I had white skipper sneakers and a white straw hat. Just got out the car. Just was great to get in, and that's all I saw was legs and shorts and breasts is jumping rope. <laughs> and everything slowed down for me. <laughs> huh? Everything just slowed down. Even I got in the car slow. <laughs> <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. Amen. Amen. I wasn't in the spirit. I was in the spirit. You see, I'm a brutally honest person. That's right. I wasn't in the spirit. What I saw looked good to me, brother. I want to know what is that? <laughs> But I never went to the strip tease club. To me, that's desperate. That's boring. You ain't got nothing to do. Yeah. You ain't got nothing to do with your life. Go to a club and ah. And you can't even pay your bill every week. You burn every your week. money up, brother. Every week. You're burning your money up every week. You and your friends just make it rain, throwing dollars, throwing dollars. And then you gotta ask your friend, hey man, you got you got three dollars you can let me hold? Yeah. yeah. Hard as I work to make money. That's and right. throwing away on someone and all she's doing is shaking? <laughs> That's right. It's coming up to me. <laughs> oh, no. You come up to me shaking, I'm looking at you. <laughs> and then I'm broke? Broke. <laughs> and all you're doing is slide up and down a pole. That's right. You're coming down the stage on your hands and knees like a dog. That's right. That's true. I'm going to make it plain. Amen. Oh, he shouldn't preach that in church. Why? Because you like doing it? Yeah. That's why we teach wisdom when folks testify. The Lord brought us out of all kind of things, but there's some things you better not make public. Because everybody that come to church ain't church minded. That's right. Amen. We have a whole lot of exposed dancers. Mm -hmm. 
Don't you go testify what you were. No. Every brother in here ain't got God on his mind. You get up and testify. I don't care if you're speaking in tongues. Church, God, I used to be a pole dancer. And when you say that, that brother's going to be like. <laughs> Yep. Oh, that's my Lord, my Lord. Glory God. Amen. I'm telling the truth. You can be naive if you want. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. Come on, Williams. And he lifted up his face to the window uh -huh. and said, Who is on my side? Who? Yeah, brother ain't gonna say that to you. No. He ain't gonna say, Throw her down. No way. No. Oh, no. He's going to want to talk to you, take you out to lunch or dinner. Well, look, tell me about that pole dancer. How is it? How did you do it? Could you show me? Show, oh, yeah, show me. yeah, yeah, I could show you. Give him private demonstrations. That's right. I have to preach this. Yeah. So I have to preach it. Because some of that is not out of some men, and some of that is still in some women. Amen. That come to church, so I got to preach it. Yeah. Why? She may get in the jam where her money getting bad and then may want the devil may push her or push her to go back. That's right. Yeah. No, she can make some quick few hundred dollars. That's right. That's true. That's true. So I have to preach it. I have to oh, preach yeah. it. Because the past will pull on you. Oh, yes. Don't you go confining in everybody about your past. Oh, no. That's no, right. no. Read fast, Williams. And he lifted up his face to the window and said, who is on my side, who? Yes. And they looked out to him, two or three eunuchs. Uh -huh. And he said, throw it down. So they threw it down. Throw it down. And some of her blood was some sprinkled her blood on the wall. Was sprinkled on the wall. And on the horses. And on the horses. And he trod her underfoot. And what happened? And when he was come in, he did eat and drink. Wait, well, it ain't phase him. No. Throw it down. Throw She's it down? down? Yeah, let's go eat. Eat and drink. <laughs> and give me something to drink afterwards. That's right. Yeah. Come on. And said, go see now this cursed woman. Yes. And bury her, for she is a king's daughter. Yes. And they went to bury her. But what? But they found no more of her than the skull. They, oh, this, this is what was left of Jezebel. That's right. Because see, the prophecy was she wasn't going to have no burial. No burial. So when they went to bury her, yes. this is what was left of her. And they went to bury her, but they found no more of her than the skull. Her skull. And the feet. Her feet. And the palms of her hands. The palms of her hands. When they therefore came again and told him. And what? And he said, this is the word of the Lord. What? This is the word of the Lord. The prophet reflect back on the prophecy. That's right. This is God's word. Yes. Which he spake by Which his servant Elijah, by the servant Tishbite, Elijah the Tishbite. Elijah the Tishbite. Saying, in the portion of Jezreel portion shall dogs. Jezreel shall dogs. Eat the flesh of Jezebel. Eat the flesh of Jezebel. And the carcass of Jezebel shall be as dung upon the face of the field. In the portion of Jezreel, so that they shall not say, this is Jezebel. In now, other words, chapter 10. She was unrecognizable. Yeah. Unrecognizable. Yeah. At the last verse? That was the last verse of All that. All right, chapter. that's last that. I'm going to have to knock off. Amen. All right. Amen. God gave us a whole lot of information tonight, today, this afternoon, rather. So you got to be killed with scripture. All the day long. All the day long, you have to be oh, shot at. I got to shoot at you, young man. That's right. Young man, young woman, middle age and old. I got to shoot at you with Bible. That's right. Church you go to, don't shoot at you. It's a cap gun. That's <laughs> right. Little cap gun. Amen. And we come along with the power of the scripture. Boom, boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. False prophet come up. <laughs> Folks like that. Yeah. That's right. They like that. And then they go to church and think you did God a favor. You ain't did God no favor. No. You need God. God don't need you. Oh, yeah. You better repent of your sins, brother and sister sinner. That's it. You better repent of repent. your sins. Be sorry about your wicked ways and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave the man-made church and the fake religion that you are in or right. got a mind to go in. That's right. Acts 2.38, close out. What did it say? Then Peter said unto them, repent. God wants you to be sorry about being a sinner. Wine yeah. guzzler, beer guzzler, oh, yeah. cigarette smoker, pipe smoker, joint smoker. That's right. Women chaser, man chaser, prostitute. God wants you to be sorry. Whoremonger. Amen. That's right. Transvestite. Mm -hmm. yeah. God want to change you. Oh, yeah. 
But you have to want it for yourself, so you got to be convicted of your wickedness. That's right. Many of you came here smoking on your way here. Yeah. Still got your cigarettes in your glove compartment or in your armrest or your vape container. Yeah. God want to clean you up. You need to be cleaned up. Oh, yes. All that beer and lick in your house. Amen. I remember I was looking at some property, and I went down to the basement, beautiful finished basement. The property was built in 1930, and they had a wine cellar. Mm. And I, it was, I ain't never seen that much wine in the state store. I didn't know bottles of wine can even come that big. They had one bottle so big, one single bottle. Like, I'm not exaggerating. It was close to two feet filled with liquor. One part of the cellar boxes was from the floor to the ceiling. And I asked him, I said, how y'all going to move this liquor out of here? He said, oh, we getting it out. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. I don't care if they got to drink it out. They're getting it out. Amen. You better repent. Repent. Uh, now, don't misunderstand the message. When you hear this message that hits you where you need to be hit, yeah. don't think that Pastor Jen is saying you're going to change overnight. That's not going to happen no more than a child is ready to be delivered the moment that uh, sperm fertilized the egg. That's right. That child got to evolve and take time, and then when it comes from inner darkness to outer darkness, still got to grow. Yeah. That's right. But you got to start. Yeah. Glory to God, so you might as well come on and be killed. Yeah. You young boys, pull your pants up, stop showing your old dirty drawers <laughs> like you're making a booty call. That's right. You ain't no male Jezebel, then pull your pants up. That's right. When I look at you, I should know you're a young man, yeah. not trying to let your hair grow long right. like a girl. That's ain't right. no young man or old man should be talking to me doing like this because his hair is in his face. That's Amen. Right. You ain't got Tourette's, stop it. <laughs> That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Today, women want to be masculine. Men want to be feminine. Yeah. Pull your pants up and stop advertising your behind like you's a male hooker. That's right. Amen. That's right. Repent. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Be sorry. What is repentance, Pastor Jenner? You ever done something you know you shouldn't have done and got caught and you was about to get thrown in jail or you was about to get a beating from your parents mm -hmm. and you, you felt that remorse, you felt sorry. Yeah. That's what God wants out of you. Oh, yes. He wants you to be sorry for your wickedness, for being a sinner. Yeah. And when you get a person sorry about something, you ain't got to keep fighting and arguing with them. That's right. They'll cooperate. Yes. Yeah. Repent. And be baptized, every one of you. Everybody got this to do. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For oh, what? For the remission of sins. That's how you get your sins washed away. And then you got to seek the Lord for what? And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And this is what the word of God offers you. Anybody want to get right today and be baptized the right way? In the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet if you want it. Wonderful. 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 All of you that are standing, follow that brother over there. Wonderful. This is the message. Oh, yes. Come out of your churches, everybody. All the man made religions that lead you right to hell. Yeah. Which one, Pastor Jennings? All of them. That's right. I ain't, ain't going to be true. All of them will lead you to hell. All of them. Because if the Lord says be holy, who gave you the right to be something else? That's right. You might as well get yourself ready. May God keep you. May God preserve you. Come on back 5 o'clock this evening. Let us all stand. Elder Williams will close us out in prayer. Father God, we do come to once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you once again for this time, Lord Jesus, that you allowed us to hear thine word. Bless us, Father God, not only to be hearers, but bless us to be doers of the truth. Father God, remember them that are yet on the altar waiting for the Holy Ghost. Bless them, Lord, that they may continue to call upon thy name until they be filled with thine spirit. Bless, O oh God, many that are getting a chance to hear the truth. My God, open up their understanding, O oh God. Open up their hearts and minds to thine word. Let them come and repent and be baptized in water. In the name of Jesus Christ and be filled with the Holy Ghost. 
My God, remember the man of God. Continue to strengthen him. Continue to bless him and protect him and keep him and help him, O oh God. Keep thine word in his mouth. My God, that gives us a chance at eternal life. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you've been to us and for all that you've done for us thus far. We do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.